Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is I, your favorite alchemist, the alchemy goddess. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. You are greatly appreciated. This is your daily tea and tarot for Friday, July the 16th, 2021. Today's energy in the hemisphere is Venus. So it's all about love. Fall in love, be love, do things out of love, show love, <laughs> fall in love. Get your hair done, nails done, toes done, self-care, all that. Self-love, right? That's the energy in the hemisphere. Um, before I begin, I do want to address the scammers. There's a lot of scamming going around, and it's not just me. Um, there's a lot of other spiritualists who are being scammed as well. So you guys need to pay to pay. You guys need to pay close attention to who you're sending your money to. I don't know how other, you know, spiritualists work. I don't know what they do, but I have a website, and the only way to book through me is to book through my website. And I'm sure a lot of these other, you know, spiritualists and readers have websites too or some kind of means to reach out to them other than DM. And I don't think a lot of them are emailing or DMing you with, you know, the things going on in their lives asking you if you would like a reading. And that's not being cocky, that's just being honest, you know? So I think I just things for you guys to kind of pay attention so you pay attention to so you don't get scammed, you know? Um very important because it's a lot. It's going around a lot. It's, I mean, I can't tell you. I think it was like 10 people made a page of mine on TikTok. Um, Instagram has been like maybe five. Like every time I block one, I see, I feel like another one comes up. So, and then my light just blinked. So, you know, I know there's a lot of people out there right now who are really um, trying to, you know, have a come up. You know, you can't knock the hustle. You know what I'm saying? But just protect yourself. You know what I'm saying? If you're, you know, if you're not capable of understanding that, I'm not saying that it's good that you got God, but I'm just saying like, beware. Okay. Beware. Um, also don't forget, um, August 22nd, Open is having a huge unity event out in Cedarbrook Park in Plainfield. It's going to be humongous. If you guys want to donate to the event or donate to my channel, um, please send that to um, Jack Jackson. His, his, his cash app is dollar sign jjack793. His Instagram is jackjackson81. Um, it's going to be a huge event, you guys. I um, am very excited about it. Um, but also... Um, I've, I'm making a lot of changes. Um, a lot of changes are taking place right now. And I'm not going to speak, you know, too much about what's going on. But just know that things are going to be shifting in my life over the next few months. So if I'm not available or if I don't do my the daily tea every single day, please know I'm getting things, you know, moving and shaking. You know, I got to get some things transitioned to other places. And, you know, um, I got a lot of stuff I'm working on. Just know that if I'm not always available, it's not like I'm just avoiding, you know, doing the tea or I'm always going through something. It's just that sometimes I have other obligations and things I have to do. And, you know, it's just me. So, you know, you know take care of the kids. Make sure everybody good. Make sure we, you know, living comfortably and make sure they good and they, you know, getting what they need, learning and stuff. So just so y'all are aware. Okay. Um, my energy, I woke up this morning and first I didn't get much sleep last night, but my energy has been really off. But, um... I know I keep getting this feeling of disconnecting, disconnecting. Um, I, f I have this feeling of like emptiness, this feeling of a void, you know, and I know my own personal life, for me, it feels like that means that um, it's time for a change. You know, if something like when we pull the divine feminine readings, you know, you get the bliss card. If something is no longer bringing you bliss, why are you still doing it? You know, I I say this because it's so important for us to, to protect ourselves and protect our energy. And we allow so much in our lives, you know, on a daily basis that we interact with that can come in and shift that energy or come in and, you know, change it or do something to us or, you know, whatever, you know what I'm saying? And I just feel like it's time to really take our power back. Like I can't, like, I don't know how to express that, you know, when it comes to twin flames, when it comes to karmic situations, when it comes to your own personal health, your own well-being, um, I feel like it's really time for us to acknowledge where the power truly lies. And that's within us. You know, we have the ability to dream. So we have the ability to achieve. And I honestly, genuinely, sincerely, wholeheartedly believe that. So I just wanted to say that before I began um, today's reading, where we're going to go ahead and get started and see what the energy is out there, you know, for this weekend, what's popping, what's going on. <sighs> y'all, y'all, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see what's going on, right? <laughs> All right, Spirit, what energies do we have for this twin flame connection, karmic situation, divine feminine, divine masculine? Show us all, right? Show us everything that we need to see, Spirit. Compromise. 
Okay. Uh, I don't know. I have a funny feeling. Communicate. Somebody's going to communicate because they want to compromise with you or someone wants to communicate about compromising, you know? We can't always say that it's going to happen. We have to say that someone wants to. Again, this is, you know, just the beginning. This is just the beginning. We don't know what else is coming out of this deck today, okay? It's just the beginning, y'all. <laughs> Let's see. All right, spirit. No? Okay. Pride and ego. Karmic partner. Twin flame. That's a motherfucking bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bottom of the deck. The third party. Lessons. Dark Knight of the Soul. Separation. Abandoned. And soulmate. Y'all. This is the first time. As I always do six at the bottom of the deck. This is the first time in a very, 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 very long time that we have gotten the soulmate, the twin flame, and the karmic. All in one. I don't know if these are three different people. <laughs> I don't know if this is a person dealing with three different people or three different situations, you guys. I, ooh, it's hot this Friday. It's hot this Friday. Let me drink my little... First of all, let me tell you how Dunkin' Donuts is playing me out, yo. Like, I like the Dunkin' Refresher. It has these, like, these fruits and, like, this fruity, like, drink. And then they mix it with coconut milk. And it's so good. But they haven't had it. They've been out of stock of it forever. And they gave me this bubble popping shit. And I was like, what is this? It pop in your mouth. It's so odd to have balls popping in your fucking mouth. Like, <laughs> what was that idea? Like, is it like bubble tea? That's what bubble tea is? The balls pop in your mouth? That's why y'all like bubble tea? Bruh. I, I look at bubble tea and I'm like, I don't know if I, if I felt about the balls in the cup. And I went to Dunkin' and they have not had the Dunkin' Refresher forever. So I got this. So Dunkin', who's running Dunkin'? Who's the running Duncan? <laughs> anyway, back to the reading, y'all. So, some serious energy going on here, right? This Friday is going to be a long one. We got some serious energy going on. Okay, we have the third party energy, lessons, dark night of the soul, separation, soulmate. Somebody's in separation from their soulmate. Somebody is in separation from their soulmate. Somebody feels abandoned. Someone's in a dark place. Someone's learning a very, very hard lesson and there's a third party involved. Somebody is separated from their soulmate and they're in a very dark place. And the soulmate feels abandoned. It's a hard lesson, y'all. It's a hard lesson. Ooh, child, that's a hard lesson. But over here, we got pride and ego communication. Somebody wants to compromise. Somebody wants to compromise about some things. Okay, I feel like the compromise may have something to do with this twin flame and it's karmic. I don't know. I mean, I feel like this is crazy. This is just crazy. <laughs> Happy Friday. Y'all like, get to shuffling, girl. What is this about? Mm, we about to see, though. We about to see. All right, spirit, please clarify this compromise energy for us. What is this compromise about? Who wants to compromise? Wasted, missed opportunity. Spirit, what is this compromise about? Spirit, what is this compromise about? Betrayal, pain, dying trust. Ooh, interference, the other man, the other woman. Spirit, please clarify this compromise energy. What is this compromise energy? What is this compromise about? Revival of a situation. Somebody wants to come back. Somebody wants to come back. Hidden love. Look at that. Low profile. Somebody wants to come back and keep it on the low. Somebody wants to come back and keep it on the low. They want to compromise. They want to renew the situation. There is someone else involved. There is betrayal. Okay. Some kind of missed opportunity. See, I feel like... Someone wants to come back, but the other person doesn't want to be bothered. I promise you, someone wants to come back, but the other person is just like, no, nah, I just, I, I wasted my time. I wasted my energy. Um, 
And I feel like it's been on the low. This connection has been on the low. It's this is not they don't want to keep it on the low. No, 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 no. This this has been on the low. It's not in the public eye. No one knows about this connection. I mean, if they do, they don't it's not public. Everybody doesn't know about it. It's not known. They want to revive it. They want to revive this this hidden this this hidden connection. But there was betrayal. Mm. We're gonna see what that means in a minute, y'all. Spirit, please clarify this communication energy. What needs to be communicated? What needs to be talked about, Spirit? Please show us everything about this communication. What needs to be talked about? What needs to be communicated? What's going to be communicated, Spirit? Please show us what we need to see about communication. Balance, alignment, stability. Somebody wants stability. Somebody wants to somebody wants to make something right. Ooh. Alienated, homecoming, reunion, loner, isolated. Someone's tired of feeling alienated from you. They're tired of you. They're tired of alienating themselves. They want to bring balance. They want to return to you. This is what they want to communicate. Spirit, what, what needs to be communicated? What's going to be communicated? Please show us what we need to see. Transparent, straightforward, yep, predictable. Someone wants to be very straightforward with you about a situation. They don't, they're tired of, I feel like they're tired of things being off balance. They're tired of being away from you. They're tired of being isolated from you. They're tired of being kept out in the cold. They're tired of it. Spirit, please clarify this pride and ego energy. Spirit, please clarify this pride and ego energy. Show us what we need to see. Blackened and the climb. Scorned, corrupt heart, ascension journey, leveling up. Okay, so somebody's pride has definitely been in a way um, because of some pain that existed between two people, whether it's the karmic or the twin flame. I don't even know yet, y'all. But they're learning. They're leveling up. They're ascending right now. That's what they're doing. But I feel like they're not telling you. They're keeping it to themselves. Spirit, please clarify this pride and ego. What is this pride and ego about? What is this pride? Whose pride's in the way? They're getting some help. Yep, assistance, support, soul tribe, cut off, separation, severing ties. So they're separating from someone. They're cutting ties with somebody and being with someone else. They're leveling up. They're reaching higher frequencies. They're reaching higher levels. And in, in, in this ascension, you know, because I told you they've been really scorned. They've been really hurt. But in this ascension, they've received some spiritual support, I feel like, from their ancestors. So they're severing ties so that they can be at a higher frequency. I feel like they're cutting off the bad energy. Spirit, please clarify this karmic partner energy. Mm -hmm, Y'all, he's waiting for this karmic. Chained. Codependencies and attachment. Someone has attachments to a karmic. It's codependencies. Attachments. They can't just walk away. Desole, abandoned, neglect. They can't neglect this situation or they have neglected it. Spirit, please clarify this karmic partner energy. What is this karmic partner? Yeah, going mad. Spirit, please clarify this karmic partner energy. Spirit, please clarify this karmic partner energy. Intuitive and divine masculine. Guidance, inner knowing, and divine masculine counterpart. So your divine masculine is stuck in a situation, a karmic situation, and they're being guided away from it. They're going mad. They're crazy. They have a very unsound mind. They feel like... They feel attached. They can't detach. They want to abandon it. They want to abandon it. Their intuition is guiding them. There's some inner knowing that's guiding them to abandon that situation. Spirit, please clarify this twin flame energy. What is this twin flame energy? Who is this twin flame? What is this connection about? Show us what we need to see. Why is this on the table, Spirit? Why is this twin flame energy here? What do we need to see about this twin flame energy? Show us what we need to see, Spirit, please. Divine timing. Universal precision. Faith. Something's happening in the right timing. Hunger, yearning, craving. Someone's craving their twin flame. Loss for words. Unspoken, unsent messages. Someone's not sending messages. Satin, sexual desires and cravings. Yo, spirit, please clarify this twin flame energy. One more card for us for this twin flame connection. What is this twin flame energy? Requited, mutual shared feelings. Wow, 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 wow. Isn't it crazy how these cards fall? Isn't it absolutely bananas? It's not just me, right? Like, this is how it felt. On top of the karmic energy, we have chained, codependencies, abandoned, 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 neglect going mad guiding guidance inner knowing and the divine masculine of divine masculine's intuition 
Like this divine masculine is like, like, where is that card at? Where did I put it? Where did it at? Where did it go? I know I saw it. Oh, here it goes. Child. Ascending, ascension journey, leveling up. This person's pride has been in a way. This person's pride has kept them from severing ties. It's kept them from cutting, cut, cutting ties with this karmic situation. And I know it's the karmic situation because look at the energy around it. Codependent, codependencies and attachments. This person's in a situation where someone is codependent on them, okay? I feel like they feel neglected in this, in this connection because this person's this post this because this person is called dependent on them they feel neglected they're going mad like they're going crazy like they like they want to wreck shop they want to fuck something up but their intuition is guiding them to, to to do something at a higher frequency to do something at a higher level and then this twin flame energy over here look at that divine time and universal universal precision faith have faith in this connection okay hunger yearning craving someone's craving for this Lost for words, unspoken and unsent messages, but someone's not telling you this. Someone is not telling you how they truly feel about you. Satin, sexual desires and cravings, y'all, I'm telling you. And then requit it, mutual shared feelings. Like this person feels the same way you feel about them. And at the bottom of the deck, we have mirroring, reflected or shared energies. You and this person are in the same, you're in the same shared energies, okay? You're in the same shared energies, which means that you feel the exact same way about each other. I'm definitely feeling like this is more of a two-person situation, but we'll see when we get the bottom of the deck energy from these cards. We'll see. Okay. All right, Spirit, please clarify this compromising, this compromise energy for us. What is this compromise energy? What is this compromise about? Who is it for? Who's involved in this compromise? What can you share with the spirit? Please share everything with us that we need to know. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nine of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, the Emperor, Seven of Swords, Page of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. Okay, so someone wants to compromise about reviving a situation. Um... Someone feels as though they don't want to miss an opportunity. I feel like they don't want to... Something about wasted time, wasted efforts. Um, this has definitely be a, been a hidden situation. But I feel as though this person has kind of been going crazy with the Nine of Swords. They can't stop thinking about it. They can't stop thinking about you. I feel like they want a new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles. And with the Emperor here, I feel like, you know, this could be... This could be a Taurus. This could be an Aries. But um, it's someone who... They have their shit together. You know, they're they're stable. They're secure. But I feel like they've been keeping a secret. They've been keeping a secret about how they really feel with the Seven of Swords and the Page of Cups. They haven't told you. Things have been a secret. Like, you've been on the low. You've been hidden, you know? But what they really want is the Ten of Pentacles. They want a commitment with you. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, we can get some more clarity on that. Spirit, please clarify this communication energy. What needs to be communicated and from who? Who needs to communicate? Who needs to communicate? It could be a father figure that wants to compromise, you know? Okay, so the communication is about their happiness. Someone wants to be happy, okay? They don't, they're tired of being alienated from you. They're tired of being kept from you. They're tired of being, feeling left out. Yeah, judgment card. They want to move forward. They've made some kind of decision. So you have to clarify this communication energy. What do we need to see about this communication energy? Who's communicating? What are they communicating about? Too many cards, too many cards, too many cards. Spirit, what are they communicating about? Show us what we need to see. Thank you. Thank you. Four of Cups, Four of Swords, King of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so someone can't stop thinking about you, but they feel as though you're going to reject them. They haven't offered you their heart because they feel like you're going to reject them. They've been hiding their feelings with this King of Cups, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They've been hiding their feelings. Leo energy with the Sun card. This is just about pure bliss and happiness, though. Like, this is what they've been hiding from you. I feel like they're exhausted by this. Like, it's, it's to the point where they're exhausted. But they want that Three of Pentacles. They want to build something with you. 
I feel like there's also a third party situation involved. Like I said, you know, karmic twin flame, but there is a third party situation involved here, which could also have a, a lot to do with it. They couldn't, they, they couldn't give you what they wanted to give you because there was another party situation. There was another situation involved. Okay. I feel like this person is, 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 was ready to be very transparent and honest with you. Spirit, please clarify. What is this pride and ego energy? Who's pride? What pride? What's the pride about? Share with us what we need to know, spirit. Show us everything we need to know. Thank you so much. Thank you. The Empress, the Hermit, the Temperance, the Nine of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. Okay, so what we got here? <sighs> Someone's coming forward. They don't want to lose you. They feel like they're going to lose you. I told you, missed opportunity. They don't, they don't feel like they are, they don't feel like this could be a Virgo involved, a Libra involved. Um, this could be a, a, a Pisces involved. I have the Knight of Cups. Um, but, you know, how I always say, this is more so an energy of like someone, like, like someone sees you, like someone finally sees you. They didn't see you before. They didn't see your worth before, but they see it now. Like someone finally sees your worth and they want to come towards you with an offer. I feel like they've been doing a lot of soul searching, a lot of thinking, doing a lot of healing. Could be a Sagittarius Virgo involved. Like I said, um, a Sag Virgo Libra energy. Yeah, but they see like you're very beautiful, successful, like you're glowing. You're probably, you know, you're just you're glowing. You know what I'm saying? And this person just, they see you differently. As to before, they didn't think that you were necessarily like an asset, so to speak. Like they didn't really get your worth. Now they see it. Spirit, please, spirit, please clarify the karmic partner energy. What is this karmic partner energy, spirit? What is this karmic partner? What do we need to know about this karmic situation? Share with us what we need to see, please. Show us everything that we need to see about this karmic situation. Thank you so much. Thank you. The magician, the page, I'm saying the, the page, yes, the page of pentacles, the five of pentacles, the moon card, the seven of wands, the two of pentacles. I'm going to take it because it's on my hand. And the eight of swords. Okay, so... This situation with this karmic, this person, this person could be an Aries, okay? I feel like with the magician involved, this person has been very, like, broke. This person's ready to share something with you. They're ready to come in. They're ready to come in inside. They're ready to show you. They want to show you something their feelings, their emotions. Something about a battle. Juggling too many things. Feeling trapped. They feel trapped with this karmic. They feel trapped with this karmic. They have a lot of hidden emotions, a lot of suppressed feelings about this. They've been like, they. Oh, I keep saying, I keep hearing they've been broke. Like, I keep hearing I'm broke. Like, they've been broke. I feel like they got something to tell you about this karmic situation. Something about it being broke, broken. I don't know. It's something like that. We're going to clarify that with some more cards in a little bit. Sphere, please clarify this twin flame energy. What do we need to know about this twin flame connection? What is it that we need to know about this twin flame connection, Spirit? What can you share with us? What do we need to know about this twin flame connection, Spirit? Thank you so much. Thank you. King of Pentacles, King of Wands, Five of Cups, Four of Wands, Five of Wands, the Chariot, and the Eight of Cups. Okay, so it seems like someone is walking away from something to be with you. Someone wants to, well, they want success with you with the Chariot. Could be a Cancer involved. We have the Eight of Cups, the Chariot. Someone's been very conflicted about something. Someone's been battling something internally about a commitment, but I feel like you know they've been really sad. Like something's leaving. Something's leaving. Virgo Cap, Taurus, Aries, um, Leo, Sag. But this is someone who... This is someone who is stable. This is someone who is good looking. This is someone who is sad. They're coming towards you sad. They're coming towards the twin flame sad because it's because of what they're losing. But they want commitment, but they've been battling it. 
They've been fighting it. I feel like with the chariot, they want to move forward. They want to walk away from something from the past. Something that doesn't serve you, the connection, you, the, the, the them. They want to walk away. Now, let's get the bottom of the deck energy. Yeah, because I feel like, you know, things are going to be changing. I feel like things are going to be changing. Something is ending with the soulmate. Someone is abandoning a situation, y'all. Someone is abandoning a situation completely. Someone is walking away. Someone is tired. They are tired. They're like I feel like they're they're taking a step to separate. And it could be the twin. It could be the karmic. It could be the twin from the karmic. It could be the twin from the twin. Like I'm getting this vibe here that it could be the twin from the twin. I don't think it's the I don't think it's the twin from the karmic. Like the twin is separating from the twin. Because of the third party. Like somebody learned their lesson and they're making a choice head over heart. Like fuck this shit. I promise you. Two of cups. Dark night of the soul. Like I feel like this 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 connection has been nothing but dark. It's been nothing but night. It's been nothing but hidden. Secrets. Remember what I showed you? Discreet. It's been nothing but low key, low profile. You feel me? Like it, that's what it's been. And this person is separating themselves from this from this energy. Like that's it. That's exactly what it is. That's exactly what this is. Someone is separating themselves from this energy. All right, y'all. Um, where we at? Twenty six minutes. cards I want okay let's get what needs to be exposed let's see what needs to be exposed about this connection y'all <sighs> I gotta go start work at two o'clock that's already like almost one o'clock y'all <laughs> my bad wasn't done intentionally but it'll be posted for the weekends it is what it is y'all lost romance mm. spirit please show us what we need to see about compromise please clarify compromise what needs to be exposed with this compromise what needs to be exposed with this compromise empty void feeling dead inside did not tell you that that's how i was feeling when i first started pulling the cards i'm telling you someone feels very empty with this connection Someone feels very empty. And it's like they want to renew. They, they they wanted to renew this connection, but it was, I feel like, a waste of their time. Okay, so whoever this is, I don't know who this is, but whoever this is, what I'm getting is they feel like what they've, like they came back to compromise with this person and it was a waste of time. They've been betrayed again. They they feel pain again. They, they were trying to renew it. You know, they were trying to renew this connection, but they're walking away. And I feel like this person, the other person has something to tell them. They're going to tell them that they love them. They're going to tell them that they want to be with them, but it's not going to matter. Like, I feel like this person's walking away. Spirit, please show us what needs to be exposed about this compromise. What needs to be exposed about this compromise? Depression taken over. See, someone's starting to feel depressed, and this is why they're walking away. Fake happy. I told you. They're faking their happiness. So they're like, I'm walking the fuck away. Like, no, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. Spirit, what needs to be exposed about this compromise? Spirit, what needs to be exposed about this compromise? Too many cards. Spirit, what needs to be exposed about this compromise? Feeling unlovable. That's why. So someone is walking away from a situation because they don't feel love. They feel empty. They feel a void. They're faking their happiness. They feel depressed. Probably because of this situation. They're not probably getting any attention. Karmic. So they're walking away. They're tired of feeling unlovable. Spirit, please clarify this communication energy. Spirit, please clarify this communication energy. Somebody had an epiphany last night. Who the fuck was it? Who had an epiphany last night? Did you have an epiphany last night? 
spirit? What needs to be exposed by this communications energy? What needs to be exposed by this communication energy? What needs to be communicated? Abandonment issues. Dark night of the soul. Come on now, spirit. Children involved. Whoop, there it is. Whoop, whoop, there it is. So this karmic definitely has some children involved in the situation, okay? They have some children involved in this karmic situation. Manipulative female, but they're also dealing with a manipulative female. Either your person, the twin, the divine masculine, the divine feminine, or the karmic. But nonetheless, it's, it's like this person wants to tell you that they've been manipulated, you know? They want to tell you, you know, they're tired of being kept out in the cold, you know what I'm saying? Um, this third-party energy that I'm getting here, like, they want to be honest with you. They want to be open with you. They want to tell you, you know, this is what they want to communicate. They want to return to you, you know? I feel you make them happy. Like I said, they made that judgment call, but honestly, I feel like with the Four of Cups here, you don't give a fuck. With the Four of Swords, I feel like they're exhausted, you know? They're tired of this third-party energy, but they have abandonment issues. You know what I'm saying? Dark night of the soul. I feel like they've been in a really dark place. Children are involved. Man manipulative female. Playing games. Spirit, please show us what we, what we need to see about this pride and ego energy. What do we need to see about this pride and ego energy, Spirit? Please show us what we need to see about this pride and ego energy. Dark influences. Dark attachments. Bruh. Spirit, please clarify this pride and ego. Please clarify this pride and ego energy. What is this pride and ego energy? Painful transformation period. Yeah, someone's going through it. Left behind. Someone feels as though they're leaving something behind. They have to leave something behind and it hurts them. Okay, this is definitely a dark attachment. This is definitely a dark influence in their life. It's a dark influence in their light, period. This, whatever this energy is, this karmic situation, it's a dark influence in their life. It's not bright. It's not happy. It's not happiness. It's not sunshine. It's not, it's not beautiful. It's not, it's none of that. It's none of it. It's dark and, and, and it's painful and it hurts. And, and I feel like, you know, it's, it's, it's been something that they've been going through very painfully that they have to leave behind. Spirit, please clarify what needs to be exposed about this karmic partner energy. What needs to be exposed about this karmic partner energy? Too clingy and giving up, no fight left. Okay, so somebody's giving up. Somebody throwing in the towel. They have no more fight left in them. Looks down on others. Mm. This karmic might look down on the twin. Always on defense. Yep. Overly aggressive. Yep. This first of all, this karmic's energy is very toxic. Overly aggressive. Looks down on others. Um, too clingy to the other, to the twin, whether masculine or feminine. Too clingy to the masculine or feminine. The karmic is. Um, yeah, too clingy. Um, but they're giving up. They're giving up the fight. They're giving up the fight. But this person has very dark, very dark energy. I feel like they've always been on defense. You know, they always look down on others. But they're giving up. Like, they have no fight left in them. They're giving up. So please clarify this twin flame connection. Please show us what needs to be exposed about this twin flame connection. What does need to be exposed, spirit? Thank you so much. Ignoring red flags. So this twin flame is ignoring red flags. Puppet under third party control. Never satisfied. Disappearing acts. They play, they play disappearing acts on this person and turning their back and they turn their back on them. Immature vibes. Um, someone doesn't know how to deal with the dear twin flame. I feel like the twin that's involved in a karmic situation doesn't know how to deal with the other twin. Um, I feel like there are some red flags that someone's trying to ignore. They're not trying to really pay attention to them because they're under a third party control. So the way or the reactions that they may be getting from you, they're trying to ignore them. They, you know, I feel like they're, they're very discontent. They feel like you're never satisfied. They keep pulling their disappearing acts on you, turning their back on you. You know what I'm saying? So this energy is very interesting, you know? Um, let's get what's the deal. And then we're going to wrap this up. I know I'm already 34 minutes in, but I told you it's going to be a long one. When you got karmic twin flame and soulmate in this deck, you it's gonna be a long one. It's just what it is, y'all. But let's get some what's the deal. I'm not gonna do a whole bunch of these. But what's that? Inner working. So someone's been working on themselves or at least thinking or thinking they should, you know? 
in the idea of it, right? Spirit, please clarify this compromise energy. What is this compromise energy? In denial. Someone's in denial about this connection. Seeking revenge. Work in progress. I feel like someone wants to hurt you. I feel like someone tried to hurt you and they did. Madly in love. See, this person plays games. Right off the rip, this person plays games. They're in denial. I feel like they're seeking some kind of revenge. I don't know what the revenge is about, but they play games. Like, for it to be in denial and then seeking revenge and madly in love, this person plays games with you. Period. Okay? They play games. And I feel like it's with the twin. They're playing games with you. They're a work in progress and they're possibly working on themselves. But like I said, they play games with you. All of me loves all of you madly in love. Work in progress. Seeking revenge. I feel like the two of you have had some kind of heat between each other. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you hurt them, they hurt you. So it's like they do things to irritate you. Petty little shit. You know what I'm saying? Petty. Real petty. Because they're in denial of this connection. It's crazy. Open. Available. Mm. Somebody's open. Spirit, please clarify this communication energy. Spirit, please clarify this communication energy. Lip locked. Somebody wants to be with you. Spirit, please, please clarify what's the deal with this communication energy. I told you, somebody wants to reunite, but I don't think they want to be with you. Changing ways. That's probably what they're going to say, right? Seeking options. See? I'm telling you. Love offer. One more defense up okay so i do feel like this person's gonna have some kind of love offer for you saying that they've changed um but something tell me that they're they haven't they're still seeking options this person's definitely gonna still have their defense up if you do accept that you know that offer um but i feel like they the, the offer of love is like no okay all right all right spirit yeah this person wants to meet up with you, but your defense is up really high. This person does have a love, a love offer for you. They are seeking other options than this karmic connection, okay? And I'm feeling like you're not the only option. I'm just being honest with you. You're not the only option for this person. If if you're the twin, you know, take it as it take it as it resonates. But you're not the only you're not the only option. So please clarify what's the deal with this. <laughs> what's the deal with this pride and ego energy? No vacancies unavailable. Somebody was left behind. Wounded. Inner child. Opening up. One plus one equals love. Better together. Someone wasn't available to you, but they've been putting in some work. I feel like they're ready to open up their heart to you and tell you how much they mean. They're ready to cut ties or sever ties with this karmic situation, but I think it's too late, y'all. Can please clarify this karmic energy? What's the deal with this karmic partner energy? Bad at love. Somebody doesn't know how to love. Inner child feelings, right? Ignoring the signs. Somebody was ignoring the signs for a very long time. Chasing. Somebody was chasing this connection. Hoping it would work. In too deep. And they're, they're in way too deep. Like, I feel like they, they they can't breathe. Like, they're drowning. They're drowning. Spirit, please clarify this twin flame connection for us. What is the deal with this twin flame connection? Playing dirty. Somebody's playing very dirty with their twin. The masculine. The masculine is playing very dirty with the feminine. And the feminine is one that's about to haul ass. Toxic connection. Told you. It's like they turned it into a toxic a toxic situation. Real deal. And, and and the crazy part is they turned into a toxic situation, but it was the real deal. It was. It was love. It was it was a twin flame connection. It was true love. It absolutely was. Wild at heart, untamable. Somebody definitely is ready to walk away. Tempting desires. So mm, I don't know. I feel like at that at that energy at the bottom of the deck, it makes you feel like someone's coming towards you with some kind of attempt to, you know be intimate with you but honestly like i said i don't feel like you're going to accept the offer i just don't i don't i don't think you are twin all right y'all that's it for today's daily tea and tell for friday july the 16th 2021 i hope you guys have enjoyed remember if you want to book an appointment with me i only have one place to do that www.alchemygoddess.love a-l-k-e-m-y-g-o-d-d-e-s-s-l-o-v-e it'll be down in the description box if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe and ring the bell for notifications um you guys enjoy your weekend don't forget to donate to open dollar sign jjack793 is his cash app follow him on instagram jackjackson81 all right y'all i ain't got nothing but love peace <laughs>